Hello and welcome to another edition of Seahawk Spotlight. I'm Ed Habershaw and I'm joined by four student athletes who have just completed back-to-back -back Commonwealth Coast Conference Championships in softball. Please welcome Kelsey Borman, Nikki Bukowski, Kara O'Reilly, and Lexi Susi. Welcome ladies. Hi Ed. First question I always ask in our spotlight, why Salve Regina University? Well, it's a gorgeous campus. Uh, the classes are small, everyone here is friendly, the professors, the students. Uh, for me personally, they have a fantastic education department. Yeah, I knew it would be a good fit between nursing and athletics and being able to do both. Yeah, um, especially the fact that I didn't know what I wanted to do um, for my major, so being a liberal arts school really helped with that. When did you decide? Um, my sophomore year. I agree. Um, I really liked the campus when I came here. Also very close to home for me, so that was a big, big one for me, but I love South Bay. So you arrived here less than four years ago. When did you know that you were not just going to make the softball team, but you were going to make an impact on the softball team? <laughs> uh, well, honestly, probably not until everyone told me the other day that we impacted the program so like significantly. I just kind of thought yeah. that I was just doing what I love to do. So I don't think we thought of it that way. I think we yeah. thought of that we just had a fantastic team, great leadership and coach, and we were just doing what we love to do. Having fun. Yeah. So as freshmen, you didn't realize? This? <laughs> it took until your senior year, a couple weeks ago. Yeah. How amazing it is, is it that the four of you come with different majors academic-wise, but then come together for one common goal? It's fantastic. I think we all bring different characteristics to the table um, from <laughs> our majors, and that really helps, especially with our leadership and uh, coming together as a team and a group. All right. So this is the hard question. In what ways do you see yourself in your other classmates and in what ways would you like to see some of their characteristics in you? Just the four of you. Um, well, I know what well, Kara being a teacher and everything, I just, the story she tells and the way that she presents herself is great. So I definitely learn that from you. Thank you. <laughs> I would like to be resilient like Lexi. I think Lexi, hold herself to a high standard and stays there. Hey, in your four seasons as a Seahawk, where did you experience the most personal growth? I'd say this year. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was gonna say this year. year. Especially not having a fall ball season and kinda, it was like the underdogs. We didn't have a coach, nothing. It's, you're what, third in our poll? No one had any idea what was coming to them, so. A lot of adversity this year and yeah. they overcame it, yeah. I would say. Mm. Made us Oh yeah, now. So, who has been the most influential person for each of you, as a person and as a standout softball player? I have to say, mom and dad. Yeah. Uh, I definitely wouldn't be here without them. Yeah. Uh, bringing me to games, coaching me. I have to say, coach too. She's been fantastic, and we loved having her here. Definitely, my parents. Same. And all the coaches along the way that helped yeah. me get yes. to where I am. Absolutely. Yeah. Anybody on the academic side here at Salve that all four different majors, yeah. anything there that a particular, particular teacher that stood out for you? Yes. Professor Rock. Absolutely. <laughs> he has been supportive of us for the past four years. He comes to as many games as he can and he always has kind words to say and is there to support us for everything. Even though you experienced significant change at the beginning of your senior season, you accomplished something unprecedented in the history of South Virginia softball. That is, back-to-back -back appearances in the NCAA championships. Talk about that legacy. I'm just blessed that we got to get that far. I know people that don't, don't even have a chance to go to the NCAAs or even win their conference, so it's been awesome that we got that chance and we got to do it together. So. I don't think I really like soaked it in yet. Yeah, you know. right. It was a great experience to be with the team and spend extra time together. and do something special like that. Do something we all love. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's definitely something you'll remember for the rest of your life. Okay. What pressure, if any, did you feel or perhaps put on yourselves to repeat as conference champions? Um, I don't know if I felt pressure. Yeah. I just wanted it so bad. Yeah. So I don't know if that's like pressure or that's just like the want, wanting it. I don't know. But I wouldn't say pressure. I would just say. Right. I agree. I think we took it day by day. Yeah. And accomplished a goal for each day and 
that's how we ended up getting there. Trust in the process, as Coach would say. Yes. So you never felt any pressure? I mean, if anything, I feel like we do even better under pressure. And we keep no one to kick it in at the right time, so. All right, that's my next question. How, how, do, you, <laughs> how do you thrive under pressure? Ooh. What is it that you, you go through mentally to prepare yourself when you know it is going to be a pressure-filled situation? I guess just like looking to the teammates next to you and um, asking them to like pick you up or give you a little speech before you get in there. Mm -hmm. I know like as like a pitcher, like being out there and say like it's like bases loaded or something and I hear like Nikki or Frankie or someone like, come on Kels, trust yourself, you got it, you got it, like stuff like that. Like we're all very like um, supportive of each other so like it helps. You know? And we don't even try, I think it just comes very natural to us. Yeah. And it's been a great um, chemistry, it's like a family. So it's pretty much, we don't have to work at it, it's just something that comes. So. There's always someone there to pick us up. If we can't do our job, they're there to do the job for us. Mm -hmm. Is that the nature of the sport or the nature of the people playing the sport? I I'd have to say the people, because I have not been on a team that's this close and Again, I can go, we can go up to anyone on the team, anyone can come up to you, and it's a great feeling. Mm -hmm. I can say that myself, <laughs> from an outsider, witnessing it, uh, and, and hearing others say the same thing. You guys are just all together pulling for each other. Mm -hmm. How will your softball experience impact your future in the workplace? Mm -hmm. Psychology major, mm -hmm. marketing major. Education major. Ball, ball, back to Borman. Underhand throw, and that's the well, ball game. I mean, at least the mental side, because yeah. softball is like a mental game. Like psychology is all about like mental. So I think it like helps me with like understanding other people. Like I understand people really well. So like I think that's like, how it's helped me process, and like that's why I want to do what I want to do. So. Yeah, the same thing. I mean, I you're gonna meet a lot of people, and it's nice that we have very different people on the team, and it's just something that. It made it easier for moving into the next chapters of our lives. <laughs> I think my biggest thing that I learned was to stress less and yeah. take things as they were. <laughs> That's for I, sure. I think the same too, and just like overcoming all the challenges and adversity we face really will help us. Yeah, I think softball also like it just teaches you different lessons. Like when you're in different situations, like I like to control things. So like I need to learn that you can't control everything. Like. Oh, I control the things you can control, so that's something I define. Umpires have anything to do with it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What lessons have you learned and how has that affected your self-discipline through your sport and through being a part of a team? I guess just like not taking things for granted and like being in the moment. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a hard question. That's going to lead into our next question. <laughs> what message would you like to impart on future Savage and University softball players? It flies by. I feel like I just got here, and I wish I could go back and do it all over again. But enjoy, it. enjoy every second that you get, because this is the best. I've, this is the best four years of my life. So. And have fun. Yes, yeah, and work hard every day because it'll pay off and it feels really good when it pays off. Yeah. Four-year softball players, two-time conference champions, and their names prominently in the South Virginia University record books. Thank you, Kelsey Borman, Nikki Bukowski, Kyle O'Reilly, Lexi Susie. Once a Seahawk, always a Seahawk. <laughs> Thanks for having us. Thanks.